praise the lord welcome viewers to this platform for this morning ministration father we thank you for your children we thank you for everyone that converts here this morning for this beautiful worship bless your family bless everyone of god bless the children bless the adults as we come to your throne of grace we acknowledge your presence lord thank you so much and glory be unto your name and david said he's so happy when they said let's go to the house of god and worship our hope is built on nothing less than jesus blood and righteousness our hope is built on nothing less than jesus blood and righteousness on Christ the solid rock we stand, all other grounds are sinking sound, all other grounds are sinking sound. When darkness veil his lovely face, I rest on, on his changing grace in every high and stormy gale my uncle horse within the veil on christ the soul rock we stand all all the grounds are sinking down all all the grounds are sinking down one more time let's take it again so i dare not trust on sweetest frame but holy lean on jesus christ his oath and he is covenant his blood supports me in whelming flood when all around my soul give way then all my hope stay in christ all Christ a solid rock we stand all other grounds are sinking sound all other grounds are sinking sound that is why you are called Jehovah that is why you are called Jehovah what you say you will do that is what you are doing lord that is why you are called jehovah that is why you are called jehovah amen hallelujah that is why you are called jehovah what you say you will do that is what you were doing amen that is why you are called jehovah that is why you are called jehovah oh lord that is why you are called jehovah what you say you will do that is what you are doing amen that is why you are called Jehovah. Lord, anointing the full on us. Anointing the full on us. Anointing. A fall on us, amen. Anointing the fall on us, anointing the fall on us, anointing. Break the yoke, oh, anointing the fall on us. 
bring you welcome again to today's program again we kick off stats on a program that we actually put on a flyer for over three months this which is called the foundation of breaking the function foundation of causes by the grace of god we're going to have a few uh, message about that this morning and i want each one of us to pay attention to this to see what's going on when it comes to breaking the foundation of causes Brethren, we know that in this dispensation session, the only thing that actually can uh, help us through is, is to see how we can deal squarely uh, about our foundation. And I said that topic came through the word of God. We did not choose that topic on our own. So when we talk about foundation, we're talking about the fundamental basis of our life. What the whole uh, family are seated on. The roots of the family. The tree that generated, you know, from a particular source. You want to know the basis of that family. You want to know their culture, right values, ethics, and also what uh, they stand for. So when we talk about the foundation, we're talking about how we've been inherited just like God made Adam from the soil. Foundation is so important in every man or woman's life. Foundation is so important even to Jesus Christ when he was given birth in a manger. Now, the father of Jesus Christ, the mother of Jesus Christ, they were short of inn. They actually wanted to book in for an inn, but they didn't have one. But eventually, they had a manger where they have the rams and some little few animals, and then that's where they gave birth to Jesus Christ. Foundation is quite very, very, very important. But even why God is interested in a foundation, that we are interested in the foundation, so also Satan is interested in foundation because in foundation, now Satan gets a lot of information. He goes in there to, 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 uh, to dig out information, to bring out things to use against his victim. Foundation is so important in everybody's life. But there's something that is quite, you know, uh, intriguing again when it comes to foundation. Now, Paul was emphasizing in the book of 2 Corinthians, you know, chapter uh, 12, verse 2 to 4. He said he knows a man that was caught up in the, in the air. He said whether it was in the body or in the flesh, he does not know. Whether it was in the spirit, he does not know. But Paul was very aware of the uh, vision he had. He was so disturbed because he was wondering why. Why is it that this person is caught up? He said those words they said about that person was quite different, scary. So when we talk about foundation, foundation, number one, you have to assess it from different dimension. You have to also think about what kind of role does this foundation play in our life. Now there are facts. There are evidences, there are things that prove the foundation can nearly really determine the growth and also the speed of a man. We also they see how foundation can uh, kind of pull down, also uh, determine one's destiny. Foundation is so important in your life because it, you have an origin, you have a culture. Foundation is so very, very important when it comes to you, you know, trying to uh, tap your ancestry roots. Foundation is so important when somebody has been birthed out of wedlock. Foundation is very, very important if you really want to understand the way of God. Foundation is really, really important if you really want to get married to a particular spouse, either male or female, you just want to make an inquiry about their foundation. Foundation is very, very important because you know that's the only source of where you can get a genuine information. So we are breaking the foundational right and strongholds of the powers of darkness that are holding you bounds from the north, south, west, and east. You know, evil eye that are supervising one's progress and, and, and progress and growth. Foundation is so important when it comes to maybe making progress in life. Now, the scripture in uh, Colossians chapter 14 says, Blotting out the handwriting, the ordinances of the evil causes, hardship, poverty, sickness, and yokes, and monitoring spirit that was, you know, uh, injusticed against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way and nailed it to the cross permanently. Now, foundation is very, very important because you have to address, you know, your foundation. 
I know some time ago, my father in the Lord, you know, used to say this. He said, you know, there's these hidden causes that are most wicked, you know, they use most wicked weapon against us. The enemy, you know, who is the enemy of our soul, sometimes trying to do something into our life. Brother, you know, and the devil does not use inanimate object. The devil uses individual human beings, you know, to perpetrate his wickedness. What he does is he uses a particular person as an agent to go to perpetrate wickedness. Now the enemy, you know, makes sure he try as much as he can to cause people. You ask me, Sister Essa, how can the, a devil or agent of darkness cause people? The witchcraft people can cause somebody on an evil tree or an evil priest or evil altar. This, this hidden cause is almost the wicked weapon that you cannot place your hand upon because you have no idea where the war is coming from and hitting you so hard. So this evil monitoring spirit, evil eye, we're here today to break them and scatter them. Now, you say you owe it to yourself as a duty without any reservation to make sure you pull down those hidden causes that are stopping you. Now, and we remember a couple of days ago when we had this foundational breakage and we're seeing that uh, one of the speakers that we invited to the podium was talking about territorial foundation. When you see a country, they say the country is personified by a Soviet and the Soviet is personified by the country. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want to mention name. But guess what? If that person is personified by that country and the country is personified by the, uh, the person, then of course you have to make an inquiry. You make an inquiry, what is the origin of this person? Why is it that this person is personified by this country? So the point here is that you want to make things right. You want to make an investigation. You want to ask God, God, is where I'm moving, migrating to, is it the right place? Because there are strongholds that are answerable to this personification of individual. So our right here as Christian is to oppose every causes of, that the enemy has hinged upon us. Now you have the right to say, send fire to the foundations of your life, to cause every powers of darkness that want to stop you. Causes that are was put together to torment, you know, to cause calamity in the life of children of God. Now my father and the Lord went on again to stress again something again. He said, when we study the evil effects of causes of mankind, we find out that the number one, you know, tool that the enemy uses is cause. If somebody cannot beat their child, if somebody cannot punish their child physically, if somebody cannot do anything to a person that hurt their feeling, they use causes sometimes. That's why you say you have to learn to release yourself from any form of causes. It could be parental causes, say, I release myself from it. It could be territorial causes, say, I release myself from it. It could be maybe marital causes, say, I release myself from it. It could be teacher or whoever, even pastor causes, say, I release myself from it. Now, whoever that is ahead of somebody can cause somebody. And that's why you say you release yourself from it. So these causes are invisible barrier that keeps one hold in bounds sometimes for years and decades. You'll be asking, why am I aging? My age is going so fast, I better see that progress is slow. Now, the characteristics of this uh, uh, course is sometimes it has been mentioned in Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 2. It said, because they met not the children of Israel with the bread and water, but hired Balaam against them that he should cause them, how be it our God turned those cause into blessing. Say, O oh Lord, my Father, any cause hinge upon me, O God, Father, through any means, any way, spoken words of God, Father, turn it to blessing, turn it to blessings, turn it to blessings in Jesus' name. So, O oh Lord, my Father, turn these causes to blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, in Second King chapter 2, verse 13 to 21. Now, there's something that, you know, Elijah did. He said he took up his uh, mantle and then felt that, you know, he has to go back and stood by the bank of Jordan. He took this mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the water and then he parted it hither. And then Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets which were to view Jericho saw him, they said the spirit of Elijah dwell rust upon Elisha because they saw the raw manifestation of power. And then he came to him again, bowed down themselves to the ground before him and said unto him, Behold now, therefore we know that you are truly a servant of 50 strong men. Let them go, we pray thee. Seek the master, lest peradventure to the spirit of the Lord had taken him over. Cast him upon a go to the mountains into some valley and say, you shall not send. And when they arched him till he was ashamed. And then guess what? They sent their 50 men and then they saw three days and found him. And when they came again to him, for he tarried in Jericho and he said to them, God, did I not say to you, go not? 
and any men's city said unto Elisha, Behold, we pray thee the situation of this city. Please, it's not pleasant. As our gloves see it, he said, he said, water is not and the ground is barren. And he said, bring me a new cruise. Brethren, I'm not saying Tom Cruise. I'm talking about cruise of salt. He said, put this salt there in. They bring the cruise of salt. He put it and spring it to the water. And when they spring this water, the salt into the water, then it's asked them that they should that they should pour the water in the sea, in the river. Automatically, the water became ill. It turned from bitter to sweetness to grow to progress. Brethren, we should learn as much as we can to put salt, which is God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, into our situation. And physically, you know, people practice this. Sometimes there are causes that are too much. You just physically just take the salt and say, Father, you know what? Since witchcraft barriers or forces of darkness cannot stand salt because cut salt cut like an edge of sword. It cut away every form of infirmity. You understand? So you they automatically use that particular thing according to what Elisha told them. And then they became sweetness. Brethren, I pray sweetness into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. When the anointing of God falls upon you, your enemies will bow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Lord, send your healing power into the foundations of my life. Say it consistently. Say, oh, Lord, my father, send your healing power into the foundation of my life. Send your healing power into the foundation of your children's life, wherever they are. Send your healing power into the foundation of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Lord, send your healing power into the foundation of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, oh, Lord, our father, send your healing power. Let your healing power fall into the foundations of our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren. Now, when Paul actually saw this man being caught up into the air, into a different location of God, Father, that he doesn't know, he was actually asking, where is this place? And he was caught up to the air and he went, you know, straight away to a place called, you know, he went to the third heaven, not the second heaven. The second heaven, if you, if you actually want to pray and see what is going, you see wickedness in second heaven. Second heaven, sometimes you see the powers of ancestors, those ones, the cloud of witnesses that are hanging here, perpetrating wickedness. Now, it is left for you and I to speak to that second heaven. Lift up your hand and say anything that is being programmed into this heaven against me, supervising and monitoring my progress and monitoring me through familiar spirit. I say, I pull down the struggle down in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, because of Christ live, I shall live. He said, I will not die to testify the goodness of God all the days of my life. Say, I am connected to divine connection. Say, I shall succeed. Now, shake your body say i shake my body from every frustration and fear and also anxiety say shake your body shake your body from every form of trouble frustrations and hardship in jesus name said dear do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no, uh, no evil so i look unto the heaven where does my help come from my help come from jehovah almighty the maker of heaven and earth now life is in the blood and blood is in the life so you say this after me say through the blood of jesus christ we are justified and acquitted of all guilty Satan comes to accuse you on only daily basis. Say, Satan, I know I've fought hard, I've seen, I've done so many things. I say, but now, right now, because I'm married to Christ, say, I am acquitted in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I receive the righteousness of Christ. I'm chosen, I'm sanctified, I'm bright. I say, I shall be connected and be holy unto Christ in Jesus' name to the day of his rapture. He said, through the blood of Jesus Christ, I am sanctified. I shall live to testify the goodness of our brethren. We're going to continue on this foundation. Now, if uh, by, the by the time the program is finished, then we continue working wisely on the latter day, just as we spoke about a couple of weeks ago regarding uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse uh, chapter 2 and chapter 3 when John was revealing what God showed to him. Brethren, time without number, men and women like us, uh, you know, being, we're given an opportunity to see what God is speaking to us. Uh, brethren, all the acquisitions of, acquisitions of the word are very, very important. But the point here is that you want to know where you want to go after 100 years so i pray that you and i will make it to heaven in the mighty name of jesus a young man who was opportune to be shown heaven went so we went there and then even while the father was praying for him who is a pastor the young man still left again and went why the demon was trying to get his soul to hellfire the angels who are interested of him interested in him to go to heaven the young man said right away when he snapped from this earth, guess what happened? He went straight into hellfire. He said, by the grace of God, somehow he didn't know me because of the prayer of the Father. You know, push him out and then he went to heaven. He said, but he realized something. He said, heaven is so close by and easy to fall in. But heaven is a little bit farther. Brethren, I pray that the journey of you and I one day, of course, we end successfully. Our names will be written in the book of life. We are ready to meet Christ on the last day. Say, oh Lord, my Father, give me the energy, the strength to go to overcome all the forces 
prince of darkness that is hit upon me. Say, it is well with my soul, my spirit, my body. Say, I am blessed and highly faithful. This week, you are going to be blessed. Doors will be open for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And brother, before you quickly go, please hit the notification button and subscribe and share. And say this prayer from after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I come to your throne of grace. I'm so sorry if I've sinned against you. I submit my life to you. Please write my name in the book of life. I promise not to go back to my sin. And I promise from today henceforth to follow you daily in Jesus' name. And enjoy the fellowship with you in Jesus' name. Father, thank you because you've had a prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Bless you and see you next week as Christ tarry. Love you. Pastor Esther. Bye for now.